Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series. Facilitated by renowned educators, ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.ise.com slash podcasts. My outlook for gold, sure. My outlook for gold. I like my E-minis. YG contract. Uh, mini gold. Let me, let me get rid of this overlay. You know, as long as that speculation is in gold, it's been very difficult to trade. But if you notice, it's in distribution. And any time a market's in distribution, the best thing we can do is try to identify where there may be a ceiling, okay, where there may be a ceiling or a floor, and try to take advantage of exhaustion at those levels. So I feel this market still right now, even though we ran up right now, and pretty much for the last four months, five months, We've been stuck in distribution, which means it's been exhausting our ceilings and, 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 and exhausting our floors. The problem is the ceilings have been fairly reliable. The floors have been very difficult to pinpoint, very difficult to pinpoint. So 1170 has been a, a key level. And in fact, I had just written an article based on chart pattern analysis on gold. You can check that out over at autochartist.com. Those are the same people who... I was using it to the power stats, that pip movement range. So if you take a look at auto chartist, and I think I have my daily, uh, the daily market forecast, or whatever they call it, you'll see there's a gold update that's there. And you can see a lot of what I'm looking at at gold and the type of price action that I'm expecting around 1170. But gold's been one of those markets that I just really, quite frankly, right now, as of the last, you can just see, look at this. Look at the waves. I mean, it's not a really clear psychology. This is distribution, and it's all about fading, fading rallies and declines. So tricky, tricky market. Distribution, the distribution cycle probably single-handedly has destroyed more accounts than any other market cycle. People think, oh, it's people being long in the downtrend or being short in an uptrend. I don't think so. I think most people get basically uh, you know, eaten alive in the distribution market. That's been my experience. OK, my friends, well, I've got, uh, I've got basically all the ideas I wanted to share with you out there. And I appreciate your patience while I was uh, getting through my tech stuff. You know, I'm, I'm a trader. So a lot of this technological stuff, some of it I'm really great with, and some of it I just, I just struggle with. So I apologize. The WebEx platform is fantastic. I just uh, I need to figure it out. <laughs> So I appreciate your patience very much. Ricky, I want to thank you on the behalf of the IAC. I just want to give you one more uh, moment to uh, give us any closing comments. You know, gang, I think this is, this is me giving you the real skinny here. What we're going to see, not, you know, we, we may have, as, as a lot of you might be spot traders, we might have dodged the bullet right for now with the proposed leverage changes. Uh, but I do really feel this is the first of many different little battles that retail Forex is going to see in this country. Okay? So that being said, I think it's very important that you supplement your Forex trading ideas with something like options. And I, and I hope you've also seen where there are many occasions where my ideas for trades are going to be better executed with the flexibility of an option. I think that the CDD was just one example. Um, so there's a lot of times where you might find that, that option is a better way to go. So again, keep in mind you want to supplement, and keep in mind that there are occasions that top and bottom picking, plan parity right now on the dollar Canada is, I think, going to be much better suited for options. And, and thank you to the ISC for giving me this venue to talk about options, and a big thank you to Steve. Reggie, I want to thank you. I just want to give you one quick second. Uh, if people want to contact you, is the blog the best spot? Do you have an email address? Where's the best way for what is the best way for the attendees to contact you? Sure, the the, the blog is probably one of the best places because I have a lot of video and ideas there. And then the Roggy Horner blog at gmail dot com is and, oh. which I gave earlier is going to be uh, the best email to get a hold of me. Roggy Horner blog at gmail dot com. Uh, let me just type that at 
gmail.com. Let me just hope I got that. I'm going to let everybody see that. Reggie, you take a look. Make sure I just did this right. Keith Horner blog at gmail.com. Is that correct? Perfect. 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 All right. Great. Reggie, thank you so much uh, for preparing a lot of information for us. You showed us your desktop. You gave us your honest views on all of this. And, um, you know, there were a couple of questions, you know, where do you get into this? Where do you get out? Reggie gave us some ideas. Remember, there are lots of ways to trade the markets, and Reggie was giving us her views. But you're going to have to come up, a, a, you know, each attendee, and myself included, you have to have a, your own unique view as far as getting in and getting out. It's not going to be so, so simple to decide, oh, I bought it for X, I'll sell it at Y or whatever. And you need to manage this. And that's what Reggie has learned to do. It's not something she learned overnight. It takes a while. And I think if you continue to come to the webinars, listen to the other webinars that Reggie has given, you'll get even more information. Reggie, thanks again. I appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. Have a good time. Thank you, too. On behalf of the IAC, I want to thank Reggie Corner. I want to thank all of you, the attendees, for coming to this webinar. I would love for you to come back and listen to Reggie's and, and all the other webinars. And I think there's tremendous information in each, in each and every one. Uh, so please come back to the FX Option site. Go to the events calendar. You could uh, go and click on the previously recorded ones, whether it was Jack Crooks, John Netto, or any of the other guests. Uh, next week, we have John Person with us. And John will be talking about using pivot points to predict moves in the currency market. John's very, very popular. So please, May 4th, check it out, 4.30 Eastern Time. Uh, May 11th, Jason Ayers will be talking about strike price selection. Jason does the uh, podcast, the weekly podcast for the ISC. And go to the website, fxoptions.com. Uh, and check out the SKU charts. Go to Tools and then go to Calculator. Um, you'll be able to see not only charts, but uh, a really cool SKU chart. Stefan Choi will be talking about that on May 18th. And I'll also be talking about it on uh, May 13th. So uh, lots to share with all of you. And we'll see what's happening in the markets. Wild day today, and I'm sure there'll be some interesting opportunities in the next couple of days, if not weeks. Please come back and join us real soon. On the behalf of the ISC, this is Steve Meisinger wishing you a happy and safe trading day in the future. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.